Hi, and welcome to the first of my month of JS plugin series. As you can see today, we're looking at MIDI snap to key. So what I'll be doing is uh, I'll go through and explain a little bit what all the settings do on each plugin, and then I'll be doing a quick demo. So for MIDI snap to key, we've got the input channel there, which if you're going to use it, say, in conjunction with a MIDI keyboard controller, you may want to be able to change that. You've got your note min and note max values there, which basically means that you can apply the key snapping to a certain sub-range of notes. You've got your root note of your scale there, which has got all the notes as you would expect. Okay, scale files. So mostly you're probably going to be wanting major and natural minor scales, although of course you could be using other ones. You've got your mode here. So this mode can either be remap or block. The difference between them is if I had it set to block, that means that any note that I play that is not in C Dorian scale in this particular case will not get let through the plugin. Whereas if I have it on the other setting, which is remap, any note that comes through that is not in the C Dorian scale will be mapped to whatever it thinks the nearest note is that is in the scale. And finally, there's an on off setting here, which is basically just another way of disabling the plugin if you need to do that. So, so for my first example, we'll just set up a new track. We'll put a virtual instrument on it. Let's say search. Can't need extra routing tracks. We'll change the patch to a piano and just take the output down a bit so it's not too loud. Okay. So if you're going to be inputting notes via a keyboard controller, you probably want to have it on your input effects. The reason being that you want to have it on your input effects. The reason being that if you play notes that are out of scale, they'll then be corrected on the way in through the plugin and recorded onto the track in the desired scale. So let's change this to C major, nice and straightforward leaving it in remap mode. Okay, so that's set up. So what else I'm going to do is on the same track as Surge, I'm going to add a useful little plugin called Piano Display, which is a Durant Luff JS. And for search. So what this does is it, is dis it displays what, what actual notes are, are being played. So now if I then view my virtual MIDI keyboard like so. Okay. So let's say I play um, pretty much a C scale. as we'd expect, but if I start playing notes that are not in that scale, like that, or that, Let's see how it's remapping them to a different, a different key. So that's pretty, so that's pretty useful.
So another way you can use this is to, is to transpose MIDI. So I've got a similar sort of surge track set up. Um, this time I've actually got the snapped key set up on the normal track effects. Uh, I've got it set to G natural minor mode remap. So let's play with that. So let's start playing and then engage it during and I'll see what it does. So very cool, you can translate pretty much anything you like into any scale you like using a fairly simplistic method, but it works. Hope that was useful to you and look forward to seeing you in the next one.